reads Christmas story time. My name is Miss Heather, the children's library at uh, Farmville Public Library, and tonight we're reading Five More Sleeps Till Christmas by Jimmy Fallon. Just five more sleeps till Christmas. Can you believe it's here? I know that Santa's coming soon because I've been good all year. Five more sleeps till Christmas. I'm not sure I can wait. I got good grades. I fed the dog. I even cleared my plate. Gary's chew toy Peppy is helping me count sheep, but it's not working. We're still up. We cannot fall asleep. Just four more sleeps till Christmas and a visit from Kris Kringle. The halls are decked, the tree is trimmed, the bells are being jingled. The cocoa's hot inside the mugs, the candy canes are crunched, the popcorn tin is empty cause the popcorn's been all munched. Just four more sleeps till Christmas and then it's here. I have to go to bed, but visions of my favorite toys keep dancing in my head. Now it's three more sleeps till Christmas. I'm looking at the snow. I'm watching every snowflake, thinking three more sleeps to go. I'm cozy in my bed with lots of Christmas thoughts to think. Just two sleeps left when I wake up, but I can't sleep a wink. It's two more sleeps till Christmas. Why can't this day be done? If I can just go just one more sleep, then we'll be down to one. Okay. Just two more sleeps to get through. Then Christmas Day will break. Just one more sleep plus another sleep, but still I'm wide awake. One more sleep till Christmas. Is this day finally here? I put out Santa's cookies and the milk for his reindeer. I'm snuggled in pajamas and the stockings have been hung, the tree has been unplugged and all the carols have been sung. Just one sleep left till Christmas, the day is coming soon, and can it be, I think I saw a sleigh go past the moon. Today it's finally Christmas, I run down to the tree, I can't believe it's Santa came, these gifts are all for me. Merry, Merry Christmas. It's really, truly here. And now I start the countdown. Only 364 more sleeps till next year. Hi, my name is Miss Heather and I'm a librarian with Farmville Public Library. I'm going to tell you a story about a woman named Wang Jinai, who was a scientist and an astronomer. She lived in a time when girls and women weren't allowed to go to school, but she used books to help educate herself and learn about science. And today we still remember her discoveries, even though she lived hundreds of years ago. The story I'm going to read to you is from Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls, 100 Tales of Extraordinary Women. Once upon a time in China, there was a young girl who liked to study all sorts of things. She loved math, science, geography, medicine, and writing poetry. She was also great at horse riding, archery, and martial arts. Her name was Wang. Wang traveled widely and was curious about everything, but above all, she loved astronomy. She spent hours studying the planets, the sun, the stars, and the moon. At that time, people thought a lunar eclipse was a sign that the gods were angry. Wang knew this couldn't be true and decided to prove it with an experiment. She put a round table 
the earth in a garden pavilion, and from the ceiling she hung a lamp, the sun. Off to one side she placed a big round mirror, the moon. Then she started to move these objects exactly as they move in the sky until the sun, earth, and moon stood in a line with the earth in the middle. There you go, she said. A lunar eclipse happens every time the moon passes directly through the earth's shadow. Wang also understood the importance of making math and science accessible for common people. So she got rid of all the aristocratic language and wrote a paper explaining the force of gravity. Her reputation spread far and wide. In her poems, she often wrote about the importance of equality between men and women. In fact, she said, daughters can also be heroic. Wang Zinai lived in China from 1768 to 1797, and we still remember her contributions as a scientist and astronomer today. To learn more about Wong, visit Farmville Public Library, and also stay tuned to our Facebook page or go over to Zoom for our program with a time for science to learn about the Christmas star.